A group discussion is used to assess your ability to work with a team and your knowledge of the content. Employers will be using the discussion to see if you have the personality traits required to succeed in their business environment. In the following video, you will view a group discussion among seven candidates on the topic Can the Lokpal Bill Eradicate Corruption? Throughout the group discussion, you will review some do's and don'ts to help you prepare for a group discussion during the hiring process. Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the group discussion session. Welcome. The topic for discussion for your group is Can the Lokpal Bill eradicate corruption in India? Interesting topic, right? Yes. yes. You have three minutes to prepare, okay. and your time starts now. Okay, let's stop. Dog ears. <laughs> Are you all ready? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, we have exactly 10 minutes for this group discussion. Uh -huh. And your time starts now. Good morning, friends. I am Krish. Uh, today we are going to discuss upon the topic Can corruption be eradicated by the Jan Lokpal Bill? The India of today is facing desperate situations and desperate situations call for desperate measures. Each one of us is a part of this web of corruption. The common man bribes the authorities to get things done, while the rich and the powerful are able to bypass laws. Corruption has become a major national issue and is ruining the world's perception of India's growth story. In fact, there in a corruption index. India is facing really high position. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, well, I think it's quite clear that all sections of India are united in, in that we find a practical solution to stopping the menace that is corruption in our society. I'd like to restate and re-emphasize that the goal of today's discussion is to deliberate whether the Lokpal Bill is the solution to our problem. In my view, Lokpal is a great beginning. I would like to cite the example of the dramatic success stories of anti-corruption agencies of two Asian nations. Corruption was deeply rooted in the societies of both Hong Kong and Singapore. Government agencies in both these countries have made significant progress in changing these countries into model city states. Why can't we replicate the success? In my view, if the bill is passed, of course, taking the civil society into consideration, there is a high chance of uprooting corruption from our society.
Hi friends, I'm Mehek. First of all, I would like to thank Krish for starting the discussion on a positive note. Um, I believe India does need a strong, independent and effective anti-corruption commission and we can learn from the success stories of Asia. To add to the examples that Krish mentioned, uh, Korea and Indonesia are more relevant examples. Um, I believe with this Lokpal bill, we will have an independent body that will work under no pressure. I mean, it is likely to instill fear into people, but nothing works. I'm Gaurav. I'd like to say that my friends Mehak and Krish live in some kind of utopian world where they dream fantastically, but nothing works. Corruption is in India. It exists in India from the beginning. It is ingrained in our society. Everyone from the past rulers to the current politician, everyone is corrupt. The village headmaster, the university clerk, the government officer, the company manager, all of these people are corrupt. The Lokpal panel itself will become corrupt in due course of time. Come on guys, doesn't it happen with every organization in India? In fact, in fact, some of the Lokpal panel members are already under the scanner for corrupt activities. Hope you guys know about it. I'm Divya. I can see Gaurav is really frustrated about the system, but I think it would be better if we are hopeful than being pessimistic. Until now, we have discussed about successful example of anti-corruption bodies in Asian countries. We need to focus our discussion on whether the Jan Lokpal bill is adaptable to India's context. I agree with Divya. Let us try to analyze the situation better. Um, it is correct that corruption is a deep-rooted problem in our country, but this act can surely empower the common man. I firmly believe that acts and laws can be effective only if we practice them in correct earnest. In our country, we have a chalta hai attitude for everything. If we notice an accident on the road, how many of us are ready to file a complaint to support the victim? We don't want the hassles of following the process instituted by the law. And because we are unwilling, we are unable to speak against any wrong, which is why we see corruption at a grand scale. I think we are in a danger of digressing from the point again. We are not here to discuss the root causes of corruption in our country. The question or the goal, as we all agree, is whether the proposed Lokpal bill gonna work fine for India. In my view, only radical institutional change can remove corruption from India. So does the Lokpal bill have the teeth to eradicate corruption? I am positive about the Lokpal bill because of two main reasons. Number one, the proposed Lokpal body is going to be completely independent of the government and will function without the influence of the people in power. The second point is that the bill proposes to fast track cases against corrupt people with speedy convictions for the guilty. One of our group members mentioned an example of Indonesia 
international investors speak favorably of indonesia's initiatives and willingness to curb corruption we need to do something similar in india my name is sakshi and i have an important point to highlight i think the lokpal bill in its current form focuses more on enforcement the other speakers have cited examples of hong kong and singapore to the more relevant uh, korea and indonesia if we analyze the success stories in detail we will find that these agencies have also stressed upon preventive measures enforcement is only a part of that answer it comes into picture when individuals are at fault let us consider the situation where system is defective that's when prevention comes in also do all of us know what all comes under correct practices if a government agent ask me for a fee for a transaction is that a bribe or a regular practice that's where education comes in people need to know rules and the procedures not just the employee of an agency but also the customer who use their services so it's very important to understand the preventive and educative aspect of this bill rather than just the enforcement element Uh, myself anil uh, i agree with my friends here you see uh, we have always hope for the best the lokpal bill has uh, big people uh, for support like uh, shri anna hazare ji uh, baba ramdev ji and uh, kiran bedi and uh, some other uh, honest people um, uh, i have always believed in uh, the faith of uh, I'm sorry the vision of uh, anna anna hazare yeah um he is uh, very much like gandhi ji in the sense gandhi ji got us freedom uh, anna hazare uh, will help us uh, root out uh, corruption Uh, friends we have used already 4 minutes of our discussion so it would be better if you are much focused well in my view it is not fair comparing the current situation with the gandhian struggle gandhi ji's mission was totally different he was fighting against the foreign rulers to get independence and it this was- is this too much the comparison with gandhi ji is completely invalid and out of context I don't think it merits any discussion and all this talk of Lokpal bill becoming the savior is for all of us is so false don't we already have laws and agencies to curb corruption won't a new agency just adapt to the existing mess in our country for instance for instance look at the number of lokpal bill versions we have number of people same people with different opinions for the same cause Well, my point of view is that the existing anti-corruption agencies are either advisory in nature or are governed by our politicians. The Jan Lokpal bill proposes. I think we all know what Lokpal proposes. So let's get to the point. I would rather you not interrupt me again and let me make my point. I'm sure you'll get your own chance to speak your views too. To 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 start from where I left. the bill proposes to merge the existing central vigilance commission 
departmental vigilance and anti corruption branch of the cbi into the lokpal the lokpal will have complete power to independently investigate and to prosecute any officer who's please please don't force your views on us but i don't think anyone is forcing their view here sorry sorry i refuse it adam sorry sorry i cannot agree i cannot agree on you hold on you're not making any notes no come on i cannot i cannot agree with you come on But what is your logic? Come on, man! I cannot refuse. Please, what are you talking please, about? Please, 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 calm down, folks. I request everyone to concentrate on the goal of the discussion here. I think one of our group members wants to make a point. We'll give her a chance to contribute. I think we began this discussion with a key point. that we need a practical solution how realistic it is to have a single body even with all powers and independence to deal with corruption as well as to redress a common man's complaint think about a situation a common man a villager of up does not have a ration card he approaches this institution for help this institution is also involved in investigating high profile minister and bureaucrats in 2g scam will it not add to the clutter that already exist it is likely to collapse under its own workload i agree with sakshi here we should not depend on only one entity to deal with corruption I'm concerned that this bill will end up creating a dominant institution with enormous powers and no accountability. Friends, we have less than 2 minutes so we'll be relevant to the discussion and we'll have to conclude it really soon. Well, I believe the corruption and grievances are both interrelated. Ideally, the same institution can and I would rather say should take care of both the issues but i agree this is a reasonable argument and we can look into suitable alternatives exactly we can't break away from the past the bill has more chances of success by reorganizing and reinforcing the existing structure instead of building a completely new institution this new agency needs a practical agenda and it makes sense to have a separate body to look into the grievances of citizens Uh, guys we have very little time left so i would like to conclude the discussion with few important points over here yeah the first one is the lokpal bill is the great beginning and it's very promising and the second anti corruption bodies in some asian countries have achieved notable success in fighting corruption and i think india have to learn from it and the last but not the least the current version of the lokpal bill is skewed more towards enforcement the fundamental lesson from other countries that have made progress in fighting corruption is to adapt an approach of enforcement prevention and education do all of us agree with these findings at the end of our discussion yes yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay, friends. Okay, the time is up. Thanks a lot for coming and sharing your valuable views. We are done with the discussion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.